Wave Boats. My name is Stephen Parks. I'm here with my much older brother, Richard Parks. We're a family-owned company here in Seminole, Oklahoma. We've been building boats here at Blue Wave for about 17 years now. Mom and Dad started it after many years in the marine industry. We constantly want to come up with something more and more exciting for our customers, and this year I think my brother has come up with a doozy. I'm still not quite sure what you were thinking when you came up with it, but please enlighten us. Well, we all came up with the idea of giving an, our owners the opportunity to win the grand prize at the owner's tournament, and it's called Pimp My Wave. This year, Marcus Bellino is the lucky winner of the 2009 Pimp My Wave, and Marcus fishes the shallow, flat bays of San Antonio, so one of the first things that we did was to remove his driver's seat. Wow! Folks, he's not really that strong. We, uh, we removed this a long time ago, and it was much tougher than what he just did, so. Well, the guys took a uh, opportunity to take the seat unit out, and we're gonna get with one of our vendors, uh, specialty fabricators, a uh, great family-owned business as well, is currently working on the stand-up leaning post and some of the other key features that, that we're gonna uh, start pimping Marcus's Blue Wave boat out with. Not to mention just the leaning posts, but we're, we're real excited about it, looking at many different things. After talking with Marcus myself, he's very interested in uh, just different things from front to back, and it's going to involve just some of the best vendors in the world that we deal with on a day in, day out basis. And the exciting thing is now being able to take some of the ideas that we've had on the drawing board that we've been held back because of either cost factors or production factors, and just really just throw all those out the door and uh, concentrate on what what would we want this boat to look like you know for those fishing conditions for Marcus's fishing conditions down in lower Texas shallow water fishing you know we're building a custom quality production style boat we can customize to fit a lot of customers needs but this is a unique promotion to where we can take some really off the wall ideas without cost being such a huge factor and really see what we can come up with. You know, some exciting stuff. And working with our vendors, they feel the same way. They build the same models day in, day out with ideas on the drawing board. And this gives them a real chance to really throw that paper away and get in there and create something custom that maybe they've never thought about before, but they really want to try something different. Absolutely. It's an exciting opportunity for us as well as our vendors to showcase what we do and what makes us so proud of our products. And we are gonna show you what the Blue Wave team can do. Stay tuned. So we're well into the project here. We've gotten a lot of the work started here and you can see uh, where we've taken his back deck area and we've started to retrofit in one of the newest designs, which is a flip seat design that is incorporated in some of our newest models. Well, we're gonna retrofit it in and we've gotten the brunt of the glass work and the, the main retrofits done. We have notched out and cut out a section of the back deck here, used a form off of another mold that has the flip seats already built into it, and incorporated that form in here. What we've done is fit it in specifically for this particular boat, custom fit, and we've started to glass and tape in all the seams, making it a one-piece solid construction. In the old design, we had a fishing seat inset into the uh, back deck here, where it was a little bit lower uh, seat into the boat, a little bit less comfortable for getting up and down. And then you had a fiberglass plate that slid in to form the top of the back deck. With this design, you'll have it all incorporated in there and it'll be as easy as lifting a lid to access the seat or storage or folding it down when you're ready to fish off the back deck. So now what these guys will do is go to work on getting it all smoothed out, getting the sanding and the priming done to where when we're finally done with the entire boat and everything that we're gonna do, the final paint layer will look like it's brand spanking new coming right out of the factory. You'll never know this boat was retrofitted after the fact. We had to rip out the seat unit that was here. And what we did is we went back over with a layer of fiberglass to reinforce that area in anticipation of the custom aluminum leaning post coming in. Moving to the front of the boat, back when this boat was built in 1996, carpet was a really popular thing in a lot of boats. But as we move into 2010 here, We've done away with carpet. Very few customers like that in the boat now. So to bring this boat up to the new standards of Bay Boat, we've removed all the carpet here off the front deck. We've sanded to remove all the glue and everything in anticipation of that final paint layer again to give the boat a new facelift to bring it up to the 2010 specs and make it easier to clean. Uh, it'll look great. There's not as much maintenance keeping that carpet looking good. All right, well, we're really just jumping into this thing now that we've started and got all the brunt of the glass work done. 
Now we're going to get these guys involved from final assembly. And what are you guys doing today? We're going to remove the hardware, the grab rails, the rod holders, dismount the motor, and get it ready for some resurfacing and some new hardware. Awesome. Well, what these guys are going to do is get all the hardware just completely out of the way so that the last stages on this end of the plant are going to be to put a brand new fresh pet coat of paint over it, smooth it all out to where this boat is not going to look like it was refurbished. It's going to look brand new and it's going to have some of the newest features that any bay boat on the market has. We're going to pimp this guy's way.